Salvador Dali was born May 11, 1904. He was born in a small agricultural town in Spain. One of Dolly's first well-known paintings was finished in 1918 and titled Portrait of Lucia. In 1923, Dolly attended the San Fernando Academy of Fine Arts in Madrid. Here he studied painting and strived to become a teacher. After becoming expelled from the San Fernando Academy, Dali was still creating art and was still being recognized. Here, he displayed the girl from the back in 1925. This is when he took part in his first exhibition of the Iberian Art Society in Madrid. Also displayed at his first exhibition was the girl at the window done in 1925. Dali soon joined other Surrealists in Spain, one of which was André Breton. He was soon a leader in the Surrealist movement. Dali was brought into contact with Sigmund Freud in 1938. Dali many times would draw numerous portraits of the father of the psychologist. From his work, it is clear to see that Dali had a mind for imagination. He had a genuine interest with the human mind. During World War II, Dali and his wife left Europe and moved to the United States from 1940 to 1948. In 1941, just a year after moving to the United States, the Museum of Modern Art gave Dali his first major retrospective exhibition. Just a year after that, in 1942, Dali's autobiography, The Secret Life of Salvador Dali, was published. Salvador Dali was part of the silent film era. In 1946, he collaborated with Walt Disney and started the production of the film Destino. Destino is an animated short film. It was released in 2003 by the Walt Disney Company. Destino is unique because it originally began in 1945, 58 years before it was eventually completed. Nineteen thirty one. One of Dali's best known works is The Persistence of Memory. Some claim this piece to be the most well known surrealist painting of all times. Now we will have Dali explain what he expects the viewer to take away from all of his works. My soft watches. I'm literally very dry, very erect, almost gothic and incisive. Or between these two soft and uh, stiff, uh, Dali bore constantly and 
the crotches is only for put more solidity in some soft and melting structures and the other scenes from the drawers is only for create order in this chaos. In 1947, Dali opened the Teatro Muso, or Theater Museum, in his hometown in Spain. This was once a municipal theater where Dali had his first exhibition at age 14. The museum was known as the world's largest surrealist structure. The museum holds a broad range from work from Dali's earliest artist stages to his last. Now Dali will explain how he gets his imagination into his pieces. As many kinds of imagination, the romantic imagination, almost never exist one rock. It's only fog, uh, uh, music, uh, evanescent visions of Nordic uh, countries, no? Valkyrias, everything is completely... Moustache is uh, the contrary of music. Moustache of Friedrich Nietzsche. Friedrich Nietzsche is the depressive moustache, plenty of music and folk and romanticism, and the Dali moustache is exactly the same as two erected scissors, completely metallic, the same as the rocks of this country.